Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we're going to be playing some Magic Duels, uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, I, I don't collect it or do it in real life, but I have played all the Duels of the Planeswalker. Uh, I did not play 2014. I bought it, but never actually got to play it, so uh, just keep that in mind. So I will be doing the tutorial just so I can remember how to do everything, how, how this rock and rolls, but we do have the store here. Uh, right now all we can do is open our starter box. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. To help you get started, here's your starter box. You can use these cards to create a wide variety of decks and explore a number of different playstyles. You started your very own collection. Now let's put these cards to good use. Head into battle mode. Okay, well, actually I want to do story mode, but we can look at our cards now. I don't remember exactly what to do with this game, but... Okay, so we just got a bunch of... Just looks like some bulk cards for the deck, uh, which is pretty sweet. Okay. Alright, let's go story mode here. Magic is power. It has the capacity to create and destroy. Manipulate and transform. It can shatter the very laws that govern each world. The infinite planes of the multiverse are home to countless mages. Yet for all their mastery over their craft, they are each bound to their own planes of reality, blind to the true vastness of the multiverse. But some mages are born with a potential for more. The spark, this gift realized only upon facing a great ordeal, once ignited, it allows the mage to travel between planes and draw from each plane's magic to reach heights of power otherwise impossible to achieve. They can begin their journey as a planeswalker. Okay, so we uh, need to do the, the skill quest here. Uh, it's the basic, so we'll earn 30 coins, uh, which I assume you can spend in the store. So let's go ahead and play the skill quest. I think this is just the basics, which is really good for me. Training begins, learn the basics of magic, magic duels and these fun and rewarding skill quests. I kind of wanted to start collecting magic. I'm more of a card collector. I don't really play like the card games I collect. Like, I guess all I collect now is Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't even like play that anymore. I just collect it for my collection binders. So I don't know. I don't know if I can afford to have another collecting habit. Okay, this Welcome looks really to clean. Magic duels. You are a planeswalker, a powerful mage, dueling across the myriad worlds of the multiverse. Your story starts with these skill quests, challenges designed to hone your skills and prepare you for combat. If you'd like to replay a skill quest, you can do so from the Help and Options menu. Each player starts with a shuffled deck of cards called a library. Your library contains the creatures and other spells you'll need to defeat your foe. Each turn, you draw a card from your library into your hand. Only you can see the cards in your hand. Why the hell do they call it a library? It's your deck of cards. Let's just, let's just, let's be honest for a second here. It's just a deck of cards. Why the hell do they call it a library? You win the game by reducing your opponent's life total from 20 to 0. Wow, okay. This is a little too Zoom basic. In on like... any card, but while zoomed in on a card, you can learn more about its abilities in the More Info box on the right. Zoom out by using the right trigger again to complete this skill quest. Good job! You can zoom in on cards anywhere to learn more about them. Um, what the 
attack. In this okay. skill quest, you'll learn how to attack with your creatures to reduce your opponent's life total. A creature deals damage equal to its power. The first number in the lower right corner. When a creature attacks, it becomes tapped or turned sideways. This shows it's been used for the turn. Your tapped cards will untap at the start of your turn. To complete this skill quest, finish off your opponent this turn. For each creature you want to attack with, use the left stick to highlight it and press. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I need to do these. This is pretty basic right here. This is like extremely basic. Excellent. Attacking with your creatures is one of the surest ways to win. Okay. I was thinking more like this would give me, like if you've played any card game in your life, any trading card your game in your life, you know what this can is. block your opponent's attacking creatures. A blocked creature won't deal damage to you. Instead, it will deal damage to the creature that blocked it. And your creature will deal damage to the attacking creature. A creature is destroyed if it's dealt damage in a single turn equal to its toughness, the second number in the lower right corner. To complete this skill quest, survive your opponent's turn and then win the game on your turn. Um. To block an incoming attack, first use the left stick to highlight one of your creatures and press the A button. Then highlight the attacking creature you want to block. I think this is what it wanted me to do. But I'm not entirely Great sure. Job. By blocking the more dangerous creature, you survived the assault. Now it's your turn. First. Okay. Now attack. And. Okay, so this is just like extremely basic. I don't think I needed to do this, but that's alright. Excellent. Remember, only untapped Okay, okay, we don't need you to keep talking about this. I can just demonstrate it, dude. Alright, now what are to we cast doing? A spell, you need mana, the magical energy produced by your lands. Alright, so I know this. Element, I know this. Attack on the turn they're summoned. This is called summoning sickness, and it's indicated by a swirling effect. A creature with summoning sickness in this skill quest will start on your opponent's turn. To complete it, win the game on your next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll win on my next turn. Whatever. Your elvish warrior can't block this turn because it's tapped. Yes, we know that. Okay. You can summon creatures to the battlefield from your hand by casting creature spells. To cast a spell in your hand, use the left stick to highlight it and press. Okay. Creatures with haste are not affected by. Okay, yes, I know that. Oops. It's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Fine, I'll attack with all there. Not that it really matters, game. Well done. All your tapped cards, including lands and creatures, will untap. Alright, is that the tutorial? Because, okay. Okay, good, For you can get through. completing this skill quest, you've earned some coins. After you finish Gideon's campaign, Okay, so we gotta beat Gideon's campaign. Alright, Gideon.
Okay, so first duel, uh, Kythian, Yora, you lead a small group of street toughs known as Kythian's Irregulars. Together you act as a force for justice and charity in the slums. While raiding an Akroan estate for food, you draw the attention of the city guards. So this is just, just like a shitty Robin Hood. Oh, I could have just read it here. So we're gonna solve our issues with a with a duel. Okay. This short Robin Hood is gonna settle his issues by dueling the guards. Okay. Let's do this. Apply what you have learned. And, okay. I swear, if I lose this, I just suck. I just did some ass because you're supposed to win this. Cards will glow when you are okay. Continue. I'm just not gonna play anything yet. Yes, okay. Okay, fine, I will play that. I thought I thought I skipped my turn by X and I was like, okay, I guess I'm not gonna do what I thought I was. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play him. Okay, I don't need to see that. Okay, I don't need to see that. Okay, so this will deal two damage, not bad. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna speed stuff up. I'm not gonna just let stuff play to let it play. So we'll let that be known here. Is he gonna actually summon something this turn? Yeah. Okay. So he's got something out there now. Took him long enough to get something out there. Okay. What did I draw? All right. Not bad. Go ahead and play this. Then I'm gonna play one of these dudes. Okay, it's attack time. Let's go ahead and attack with everything. Let him defend one of them, lose his guy. Yeah. Okay. So that drops him to 16 there. Kills both of them. Alright, it's his turn now. I got a 4. 4 damage lead. I'm pretty sure it's it can't get any more easier than this is right now. I don't know what that is. I didn't pay attention. I uh, guess a 2-2 two, two and a 0-3. Not bad. Okay. I, I gotta continue most of the stuff. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Draw something good. Tip. Flying. Creatures with flying can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach. I don't really need to play the skill quest for that. Like, I get that. Let's go ahead and play that. And I'm just gonna attack with everybody. Kill one of his. Okay. You gonna. No, he's not gonna do anything with the other one. Okay, so he's down to 12 health. All he's got left is stuff that can defend. Okay, he can't attack, so... Um... Let me play the 3-3. Three, three, or the 3-1, three, not 3-3. Three, 3-1. Three, three, I'll also play this guy as well. So now I got no cards in my hand, which is never a good thing. But... I think I can win here in the next couple turns. So he can block that attack, but it doesn't mean anything because... Okay, achievement. Steamrolled. Reduce your opponent's life total to 10 or less before you... Okay. So what you get that... You get that achievement for being a spamming retard who just... Spams monsters onto the field and then attacks. Okay. 
All right, what do I got? What did I draw? Ooh, another, another flying. I don't think I'll need it because, well, actually, I can use it next turn, but it won't really matter. This thing's, this dude's dead on the next. No, he's not. He's dead. The no, he's not. He's dead next turn. Yeah, he's dead next turn. Okay, let's just. I think, I think we'll get sick of that, so I think it's safe to skip those. If I don't ever skip them, we get so sick and tired of that that it'd be ridiculous. Okay. Another 2-2. Two, two. Assuming he's going to swarm the field with something here or not. Okay, well that's GG. Might as well play that just for the heck of it. Okay, so attack with everybody, and that should be GG. Yeah, you can block whoever you want, it's not gonna help you. And there it is, GG. Oh, we get to finish all of our games. So you have minus four health. There we go. Yay! Achievement unlocked, frenzied. Starting on your third turn, attacked every turn until you won. Huh, okay, that's a cool achievement. So steamroll- oh, it even sh- wow, that's cool, it even shows you the achievements you earned in that mission. That's really kind of cool, that's actually really cool. It's a deck upgraded for a kid. You fight your way out of your hideout, but you realize some continued Resistance will put your friends at risk. You lay down your weapons and the guards haul you off to the dungeons. You are sentenced to 10 years for thievery. What? There's a bad ending? What? Okay. Still standing for justice, even while incarcerated, you fight against the bullying and corruption around you. Hyksus, the prison's... Oh, so this is Kythian Yora as he grows up, I guess? I don't, I don't know. Uh, Hixius, the prison's warden, begins to admire your commitment to your convictions. He starts your training in hieromancy, magic based on order and justice. I don't know why I read it there. I know I could just read it right here. But I, but I am stupid. So after this duel, I think I'll call it an episode. But I think I'll play through the story mode of this and uh, for... A little bit of a series here. Should be a short series. I'm guessing it'll only take like six or seven episodes. Uh, but it'll be fun. I'm also going to do Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy Duels or whatever it's called. The new thing that came out on Xbox. I just bought that. It's actually installing right now. That's what made me play this. I had downloaded it a while. Oh, what the? A turn in Magic is broken into several phases. At the start of your turn, you'll untap all your tapped cards and draw a card there are two okay i know i know how this works phase, when i know Mystia how the phases work starts in your first main phase a dark slick drake stands between your elvish warrior and victory okay find so i need to find a way to attack this turn um unsummon okay this will work and now i can attack Yay, victory! What kind of a skill quest was this? <laughs> what kind of skill did you need Good to do job. that quest? Casting the right spell at the right time can be the difference between defeat and victory. We yay. Alright. Oh, okay, here we go. We're playing now. We're in. We're in. This is the main... Okay, let's continue. Land cards. It's a good idea to play land card on each- Okay, I know that. There's some stuff in this tutorial that's like, oh my gosh. It's your first time playing Magic? Like, some of these tips you'd have, has to have to be your first time playing any sort of trading card game ever. Okay, let's summon him. I don't know, I might not say the proper terms. Like, summon. I don't know what it's called in Magic, technically, but you know what? I'm just going to use the knowledge I have of the current games that I've played. So, that's about it. That's about it. The knowledge that I have of, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! and all that different crap. Okay, so we're drawing just a bunch of monsters so far. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop the 3-1. 
Yeah, I think I like the 3-1. Because I'm going to make him choose whether or not he wants to defend, then lose his guy, or we can trade. Is he going to block? Uh, he is not going to block. Okay. I'll take the damage. Because I will block on my turn with my 3-1. So you can... Oh, he didn't play anything this turn. Alright, that's good. I'll take that. Okay, maybe he is. I don't know what he's doing. I do not know what he's doing right now. Okay, end phase, yeah. Instant cards can be cast at any time. After you cast an instant, it has an effect on the game and then is put into the grave. Okay. So, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until the end of the turn. Okay, I don't want to play that this, this turn. Uh, let me go ahead and play Eagle. The Eagle. My Eagle Eye of Watch, whatever it's called. And I'm going to go ahead and skip my attack. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and skip my attack. I'm going to make him play something or do something. Okay, he's playing that thing. I should really learn the names of the cards that I'm using, because the enemies are using the same cards. Traveling Philosopher. I need to draw a land card, or an element card. And I still am not drawing what I want. Let's keep playing the birds. Fine, we'll just stack our field, dude. I'll just stack my field. Whatever. I can keep summoning for days. So can you, though. And you're actually getting land cards, and I'm not getting it. Oh, God. Okay, well. Okay, yes, yes, I know. Okay, you go ahead and block him. And you go ahead and block... I could just do a counterattack on my turn, I guess. I'm just gonna do a counter-attack on my turn. You know what, you can... You can go ahead and attack this turn. You can deal your... What is that, gonna be 8 damage? I'm gonna hit you with a whole lot more damage. Come on, give me a land card, please. Thank you. So we got 4. Go ahead and play him. And now I wanna play this, Glorious Charge. Boost everybody's attack. He can't defend, I don't believe. He might be able to, actually. I don't know. Yes, I know how to attack with all. I just choose to slap A a bunch of times because that's just how I whirl. Okay, so he's going to block the 4-2. But I'm still going to do 9 damage. Which is fine. Okay, there we go. Got another land card. Oh god, what is- Oh god! Just- No, just attack- Oh god, okay. You douche monkey. I don't want to block anyway. I'll take my 4 damage. Yeah, deal your 4 damage. I don't even care. Okay, can I have another land card, please? Or something good? Oh, what is this? An elk, or yeah, great heart. I actually want to summon though instead of playing that. I'm just gonna put the patch of pressure on. He could, in all reality, actually win on the next turn if he has a card that could. Uh, what am I trying to say? If he had a card that could attack that has the one uh, ability that makes it so it doesn't get stunned off the bat, that would give him the win. Well, I guess not, because I can block. I've got three things I can block with, but dude, he's got a bunch of elemental cards on the field now. He's got seven. I feel like he's getting ready to... Ooh, he just ended his turn. Well, that's, that, that, that's the GG, buddy. That's the GG. That's the GG with side, no side of re. So, good night, buddy.
Because you're about to get the six, the hot six damage right there. And you're about to lose all your guys, too. There we go. Victory. 2-0 so far. We're getting some coins. I don't know how much the coins work. Uh, we don't really know how that all goes. But four years under the guidance of Hyksis has shaped you into a powerful combat mage. Hyksis believes your natural, tal natural talent for wielding magic belies something special about you. He suspects that, like his own mentor, you may be a planeswalker. Okay, so that's going to do it for the first episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm assuming, you know, there's five people. I'm assuming like three episodes max per person, but I'm assuming it's going to be two episodes per person, so it's like ten episodes probably. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.